Hey guys, Dewey here. Just wanted to show you what's included in the package and where everything is located. The first thing you see is the heating pad with these two wires here. This is for the, the mister. Just connect the, the mister to it. Pull off this 3M sticker here and stick it to the aluminum bed. We have our hose here. I'll let you know the length we need to cut it um, in the assembly tutorial video. Uh, if you did do a hotbed upgrade, you will receive a 12 volt DC 12 amp transformer. In here you'll have the sticker and this little bag here. In this bag we have a thermistor a polarized housing for two pins which is for these two wires over here for the thermistor. The other wire goes directly to the motherboard with a screw terminal to power the heating pad. Uh, we have a hose connector and two pins in here. That's the transformer. This over here we have the motherboard box here in here we have for the hothead you'll need a thermistor and a resistor for it the resistor is what heats it up the thermistor is what um, keeps the temperature under control but the thermistor is in here I can't get it up there you go thermistor will be in the peak and teflon tube inside the hothead and the resistor will just be out here. These wires are for these uh, resistor and the mister. You'll have a two sets of it. One for the four pin, which is for the resistor. The two pin one is for the thermistor, both for the hothead. <clears throat> In here you also have these three pin housings. For the momentary switches for the X, Y, and Z, and also these little pins here. If I could grab one, there's going to be seven in here. You only need six, but I included seven. These here, these are for the polarized pin housings. This is what you connect the wire to, and then just kind of push it in there. Um, let's do the hardware bag. This is the main hardware bag here. First bag is the heat sink and fan for the extruder motor, the geared extruder motor. I call this the belt bag. The belt bag contains four well nuts, the momentary switches, the DC adapter, the female DC adapter plug thing that you plug the transformer in. The two pulleys, uh, MK, or I'm not sure what it is. The drive gear for the extruder motor to drive the filament. And the coupling for the Z axis. The belt for the X. And this is the extra belt that I had to purchase for the Y. Because this was maybe uh, one and a half inches too short to fit both the X and the Y. So we got that. We have our main hardware bag with all the screws. We have our hose connectors. There's six of them total for the kit. Uh, if you did get the hot bit upgrade, you got an additional one in the transformer box to connect this wire to the motherboard tray. Uh, bearings are linear bearings and the ball bearings in there. Uh, now for the hardware bag, we have our rubber footing. Our springs are also in here. Our nylon standoffs. These are for the motherboard tray, for the motherboard to actually sit on. So if we had a tray, let me go grab a tray. So we have our motherboard tray here, that which goes right in here. These are also 440 screws that fit in there. 
I think I released a new hardware file for where the screws belong, but I'm not sure. If I didn't, let me know so I could just let you guys have that. Um, well, for these standoffs, they just go right. There's four of them. One right here, one right here, one right here, one right here. Uh, there's going to be 440 screws that screw up in here through the nylon standoffs. And the motherboard, obviously, will sit on here with another 440 screw going down to secure that down. Um, these hex rivets will go like this on the back of the Z carriage. They'll just pop in like that. There's two of them, one on the bottom, just like that, and the threaded rod would just screw in like that. These are just minor details. I mean, I have to really go through everything um, in the tutorial vid video because there are some crucial stuff that I have to go through. So, a lot of you received the packages yesterday. Uh, I don't suggest you doing it until you actually, until I actually release the tutorial video and you look at that. Uh, we have our rubber feet, our springs. We have these new things here. These are set screws. They actually go on the bed. Let me go grab a bed. Sorry. I wasn't prepared for this. The bed is under here and I just don't want to pull it out. So, we have our pin nuts here. After you put the threaded rods in, I mean not the threaded rod, the linear rods in here. You're going to screw these set screws in here. So it could secure the, um, sorry. So you're going to screw this in here. So you could secure the um, linear rods in place. There for the linear rods for the bed. Um, the only other thing is with the, the you might have some confusion between the M3 and the 440 nut. I'm trying to find it here. Well the 440 is actually uses an Allen wrench and the M3 uses a Phillips head. So if it looks like a 440 and it's a Phillips head, it's not. It's a M3 nut. I mean, screw. And the 440 is an Allen wrench. So that's how you could figure that out. But I'll help you guys sort all the screws out when I make the tutorial for it. Uh, what else we have here? Look through that. Yeah. We have our Gantries here. This is our Z Gantry, the one that has an E on it. This goes in the middle here. Uh, the stepper motors are in here also. This uh, standard steppers, one, two, three, and then the geared stepper motors are right there. So the Z Gantry here, and then you'll screw the eight, 832 quarter inch screw socket screw yeah socket yeah socket screw into these holes here but that will be all I'll explain it with the tutorial this is the X gantry which will go down or over here the longer tab in which is this end the longer tab will be on the outside of the frame which will go like this I'm going to have to package this all back up. This does not belong to this kit. Uh, our bed is down here. The bed that I just showed you with the set screw. Linear rods. The X carriage. Or the Y carriage. Here. Going to be down here. Uh, aluminum bed is under the frame, under this little foam piece here. This is just there. I put that all the way on the bottom to help support the frame in transit. We have our threaded rod over here. It's with the metal pieces. All the metal pieces are wrapped up in here along with the hothead bracket. If you can see it there. And over here we have the bottom gantry. The bottom gantry just looks like this. And it goes like 
this into the frame with the 832 screws, quarter inch, that goes in there. So let me know if I release that file of the new hardware or not. That way, those, that you, those of you that received the kits yesterday could have some kind of clue of what to do if you're going to go ahead and do it. Uh, these are the footings here, two footings. Oh yeah, the stepper motor, the polarity of them. So looking at it from, let's call this the back. If you can see it, let's call this the back. I'm not sure if it's focus. The side with the four holes where you can put the pin in to disconnect the wire there. This side, alright sorry about that, um, so the side where it has those four holes where you can put a pin in to release the wire, disconnect the wire, from left to right it is yellow, blue, red and green. This is what it looks like. But I'll have a document stating that also. And this is the other side. So this is the co correct sequence for the colors of the wire. How it should be. On the other side, it's uh, from left to right. It's green, red, blue, and yellow. The yellow one doesn't change. It's just the first three over here that changes. The yellow one stays in the same place. So if you look at it, and the yellow one's the last, the first three, which is green first, then red, and blue, is the one that has to change. Hopefully you guys could see this. If not, I could take a picture of it. But yep, just wanted to make a quick video. Um, I might have the... Uh, I'm going to work on the assembly video in a little bit. Uh, I should finish it tomorrow have it the video edited and rendered or whatnot but um yeah hopefully i'll get it done tomorrow for you guys